for veterans who were interested in establishing the museum? Yes. Well, here they are here. This is, one of them was um, Jack Harrison, who is very ill, but still alive mm. and living in England. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are his medals, donated by Jack. Um, and there he is there in that particular picture. But here we have the four founding uh, members of the, the idea. Spud Campbell, Jimmy McHugh, um, Chris Ty, and Jack Harrison. So these four people mm -hmm. um, met Peter Harrison, our committee member, um, and said, why don't we start a museum in Loch mm. And that was about 15 years ago. Yes. So, on British ships. Mm -hmm. um, convoy date dated 1941. Mm -hmm. And it's loaned by the Harrisons. Mm. But it, we sh it shouldn't have this in the picture. Yeah, I know. Because that's, that's a form that we put on any yes. when we store it. Yes, yeah. Do you want me to take this away? No, well, okay. Mm -hmm. Then you can um, see the coat more accurately. Yeah. Well, from the, the Norwegian coast. And here we have our Russian corner. Um, much of it is packed away, unfortunately, but you can see photographs here of events in Russia. Now, mm -hmm. where in Russia? Do you recognize the events? What does this say here? This is Archangel. Archangel? Uh -huh. Yeah, this is Archangel. So there, there's a, a whole right. lot of, of naval cadets. Yes, oh, this is all Archangel, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, I recognize all these people, all these <laughs> VIPs, you know, coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Polish. Oh, this is the Sea Lord, who came from London. Uh, Canadians? Sorry. Polish? Yeah. We had to remove all the stuff that was laid here because uh, of um, um, the store. I've got these things and... Down here? No. Is that far more there? No, I think that's... Um, well, that's the little promontory that comes yeah. out, isn't it? Or is that... Um, Loch... Oh, there's the loch up yeah, above. That, that's so far more is the opposite that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I need to get my glasses out. I can't even see. Um, does can anybody see a name on the shore here that says Fire Moor? Mm -hmm. Are we going to see is the, that the, school the there? memorial? Yes. No? Well, show me where the this memorial is. The memorial is, is, is up here, at oh, the end the of the road. Oh, okay. isn't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the shipwreck that we've been talking about okay. um, here, this, yes. this American one, uh -huh. is in here, here. somewhere. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the ship? The ship William H. Welch. Uh -huh. okay. um, but there, 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 isn't, there are no visible remains. Mm -hmm. But yes, this is Pool U down here, and the, when we went out we, we, at, at Nast, we were. And where do you live? What, in, Ger yeah. in Gerloch? Yeah. Yeah. Down here. Oh, I see. That's where, this is where we met uh -huh. Um, uh -huh. Elena this morning. Okay. And so this is the loch that you are looking out at, Loch oh. Gerloch, from my house. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we're going up here now. After we've been to there, we're going now here. Yes. Then yes. we've got to go all the way around oh, there, up to and that meet. side. Because you see all these markings? Yes. These are probably croft lines, mm -hmm. but they may also refer to wartime mm -hmm. and place. Murmansk was expected by the... So close when they to came, Norway. it was it yeah. just a pack of wolves of those yeah. submarines they were expecting. Yeah. But when they went, went here, you see they actually were in, in safety. Safer, only yeah. this, the, the, the Except planes... Except you can only get there in the, the But the planes, the, the, yeah, the planes general planes... Could were, reach there. Yeah, yeah, they would go. That's why Frank, he would say we would not stay here long. We would go to Spitsbergen. And where is Spitsbergen? There's Bear Island. Yeah. 
Where, 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 where is would you say? Spitsbergen? I don't know. Yeah, Greenland? Spitsbergen. This is a German shop. Okay, <laughs> where is it? Oh, this is German. From Dvina? Mm -hmm. Is that a place? From our river. An oil Dvina. painting of birch woods in the snow. Very well painted, mm -hmm. impressionist style. And a load of softwood, deal wood, he thinks, mm -hmm. planks. Mm -hmm. There's also a heavy black sealskin hat, shaped rather like a bishop's mitre, and a soft reindeer skin cap mm. from my mother, mm. which they both wore regularly at home in freezing Essex. <laughs> mm. Mm. He managed to smoke the salmon somehow in our defunct central heating system <laughs> and produced a delicious mush, mm. which we children ate on our bread. My brother has mm. the painting and the wood has put to many uses. And that's all I can remember. My sister, as old as says, he definitely did meet Uncle Joe, mm. which is the nickname yeah, he's done. Uh, uh, By this time, a second front had been opened, which took the pressure off the Russians, and they were showing their gratitude instead of the mm. hostility with which his first convoy was met. And here's a poem that the uh, rear admiral wrote. Oh. Seal skins, they were very beautiful. Mm. Very warm. This would keep them all yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Is this sheep? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, mm -hmm. um, the whole operation. Mm -hmm. uh, that um, scroll there, which we've taken out of, um, out of uh, its box for you to see today, and we're going to have to put it back because what? it will fade, yeah. this is the actual typescript of a report of uh, the battle in the Barents Sea in 1942. Uh, 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 written by a telegraphist on board HMS Scylla, which was the the um, commander's ship, hmm. HMS Scylla. I can't remember what class she was, possibly a... a